you happy so far with what you've uh, seen on the court? Yeah, I, I am. I'm pleased with uh, you know how how hard our guys are working, their attentiveness, you know, to pick up a lot that we're you know we're trying to implement and instill. Uh, six practices in four days. Um, you know, you can see a lot of uh, slippage with certain teams in those situations, but there wasn't that today. The guys were really locked in and, and on their game, and uh, we had a great practice. Anybody standing out after six practices? I mean, it, really, I'm happy with everyone on our team. Like. You know, I knew I had a good comfort level with uh, with the entire roster coming in, and nobody's disappointed. You know, the guys have really performed at a high level. Uh, if I were to, to mention so someone, I would say our centers have really impressed me, both Dwight and JaVale. And JaVale's performing at a really high level, and you know, Dwight Howard has has been all business. You know, since since he came in this this time around. Um, you know, we're asking our, our whole group to have a, a seriousness about ourselves. And, you know, he's, he's been an all-business type of guy, um, you know, for our camp. And, you know, it's really helped us be, be focused and, you know, uh, working on the task at hand. What has your impression been of Alex Russo? Alex has, has looked really good. You know, he's everything we thought, you know, he impacts the game on both ends of the floor. He's got great instincts. Um, you know, he's getting pressured. He's going to pass an inside cut. He can play the one. He can play the two on ball, off ball. And you know the length and, and toughness. He's, he's been dinged up a couple times, and has kind of showed his toughness of just shaking things off. Like that's not going to keep me out, type of thing. Um, so he's he's had a good camp. I noticed um, maybe yesterday or a couple of days ago he was even helping out with some of the. There aren't that many guys much younger than him, but he's helping out with some of some of those guys. Um, have you seen him be comfortable sharing what he knows now? Of course, and you know it's not just about what you know, but what you're picking up you know, that we're teaching. And you know we ask all of our guys uh, to lead from every chair in the room, so to speak. And um, you know he's not one of our our, our experienced vets, but uh, he's a young player with a uh, with a great IQ and a great uh, great leadership attributes. So he's definitely um, you know been you know uh, directing guys uh, on the floor and in certain plays and defensive coverages um, and showing leadership. With that first preseason game on, on Saturday, are you getting a sense of the lineups you want to play and the time you want to kind of devote uh, out on the floor for those guys yet? Not really. I wanted to get through the first four days, uh, go into our off day. We'll have some meetings with our coaching staff to, uh, you know, to discuss sort of the next week and what that looks like, and that will, you know, um, be along the lines of uh, what we're going to look like in that first preseason game. But I haven't really, done, you know thought in depth about what that's going to look like yet. When, you, when it comes to preseason, like the NFL has really gravitated towards this, give the veterans all the time off um, so they can stay healthy. Do you ever see the NBA gravitating that way? Uh, I hope so. You know, I, I think uh, they made a wise decision a couple years back to reduce it from eight preseason games to six. And, um, you know, potentially it could go even further down to four. Yeah. You know, I think each coach, uh, you know, has a an obligation to their team to just make sure they're being smart with their vets, um, you know, to make sure they get enough reps to, you know, to learn their new teammates in the system, um, get sharp, ready to play, but not overdo it. How's Dudley doing physically? Is he able to get back on the court? Yeah, he was the only guy that didn't didn't go again today. Um, just managing some soreness. He'll be fine, but he did not practice. There are a fair amount of guards on this roster. When you start thinking about the way you would implement guys instead of a rotation. It, do you look to try to use as many of them as possible? Like, are, are there ways to have set guys in the rotation, but situational guys playing regularly? Yeah, I mean, we're going to try to use all of them. You know, uh, we have great depth. Um, you know, all these guys are able to come in and, and perform in big roles right now. You know, there's not a lot of guys, young guys, 20 year olds or 18, you know, 18 year olds that we got to say we're going to have to wait on this guy or anything. These guys can all produce right now, um, so it's going to make make my job difficult. When it comes to divvying out minutes, and um, obviously we're not going to play 12, 13 guys every night, um, you know. But whoever we put out there, we're going to feel good about.